Okay, so the next tool we're going to be talking about is our spiralizer. If you're gluten-free or you're eating healthy or you just want to exchange some um, grain carbs for some vegetables, this is the tool for you. It's going to make your life so much easier. So one cup of pasta is 220 calories. One cup of zucchini is 40 calories and high fiber. So you can spiralize two zucchini, stick it in our rock crock, put some marinara sauce on it, put it in the microwave for four minutes, and you have a side dish. If you want to grill up some chicken, add it to that, now you have dinner. Literally six to ten minutes, you can have an entire meal ready. So how this works, and by the way, if you ever forget, there is YouTube videos on how to assemble your spiralizer. So it comes apart and it can go in the dishwasher, but when you assemble it, you're going to take the blade guard. There is a blade already on here, and there are three types of noodles you can make. The blade that's on here makes a curly ribbon noodle. Then there is an inserted blade that does fettuccine and spaghetti based on the width of it. So you're going to take the safety guard, stick it right over the top here, clamp it down, and then in the back there's a spot where you can insert your blade. And you just want your blade to be sitting flat, and then there's a set pin on the side that you're going to tighten. And when you do that, I always suggest that you open it up and just double check that your blade is flat. So we're going to put it on the fettuccine side, and then we're going to take a cucumber. And if you're spiralizing, you can spiralize hard things like beets, rutabaga, butternut squash, regular potatoes. If you're doing something that's hard, like a sweet potato that is thick at one end and thin on the other, put the fat end to the top, okay? And so what you're going to do is, I always say open palm works better than holding the handle here because you need a little bit of pressure down on it, but not a lot. And you're just going to go around and around clockwise. Um, and you're gonna get these lovely continuous strips. We're doing a cucumber because the salad we're doing today is called Greek Cucumber Salad. And we're gonna be shredding um, and spiralizing cucumber as well as uh, red onions. At the end, you get these tiny little chips. And I joke, this is my dinner for you guys. But when you're doing <laughs> potatoes and sweet potatoes and zucchini and summer squash, save these ends dice them and stick them in a freezer bag and put them in your freezer and the next time you go to make a chicken soup just dump the whole bag in because they're the same thickness they cook in the same amount of time sure. so perfect and look what you get all these nice. beautiful long long noodles so this if it were zucchini would spiralize um i mean it would uh, twirl on your fork just like regular spaghetti and part of making healthy swaps is making sure that the food actually tastes and feels and crunches like regular now, a lot of people aren't ready to make the swap. I know my family probably wouldn't be ready to make the swap. So I recommend that I have about four or five different recipes and they're super easy in the rock crock. And they take a pound of spaghetti. And by the way, here's your tip. This is worth the price of admission. You take your box of spaghetti and before you open it, you push it on your table and you break it in half. And then you don't get those ping pieces of spaghetti that go flying everywhere. So it's broken in half. Put a pound of spaghetti in there and two cans of chicken broth into the rock crock. You microwave it for eight minutes, stir it, and then you microwave it for eight more minutes, and then it's done. But what you do is in the last six to eight minutes, you add two spiralized zucchini in there as well. So you're adding some fiber, some nutrition to your family. You're sneaking it in with the regular pasta. They will hardly know it's there, and you know that you're doing something good for your family. So that's our spiralizer. I um, use it every morning when I'm doing breakfast. I do um, beets and sweet potatoes and onions on it. And then I saute that with garlic and oil. And then I make kind of like a hash, a breakfast hash. And then I have a couple eggs. So um, a lot of times people think that cooking takes a long time. And so when Chris and I got back from Rivia Meyer just recently, we decided that we were going to go on Whole30 for 30 days and do a detox. And so I actually timed myself how long it took me to get out the ingredients, spiralize them, saute them, and have the eggs, and it was 12 minutes to get breakfast on the table. So normally it takes that long to cook anything. So um, it doesn't take as long as you think if you have the right tool, and that is why I am a Pamper Chef lover, because I really don't like to cook, but I like it when it gets me in and out of the kitchen quicker, and it makes me look like I know what I'm doing. So Pamper Chef really can make you be a great hostess and uh, present really lovely meals to your family without it being a lot of effort. And if you love to cook, we have every gadget in the book for you, for those people that are culinarily gifted, unlike me. So if you're interested in the spiralizer, um, just let us know.